Like people either say I'm actually not woke or not woke enough, or they say I'm too woke and I'm a rad lip. And I don't know where I stand with this. Maybe I'm just who the fuck I am. And uh, you know, you're just gonna, you're just gonna have to deal with it. I saw someone call you a tanky once. Yes, I am also both a tanky and also hate tankies at the same time as well. What exactly does rad lip mean compared to just lib? Rad lib are just people that hyper focus on the aesthetics and get mad. Rad lib would be someone who's literally like, uh, I'm not going to watch the Black Lives Matter movie, which is, uh, you know, Black Panther because uh, it's for black people and it's their moment. I'll watch it later when I buy it on a Blu-ray. I mean, you don't really present your alternative capitalism for a bit of a rad lib or at least you act like one because you don't want to alienate viewers by being more radical. No, I present my alternative to capitalism quite regularly. There are certain areas that I don't think, and I've mentioned this before, that I don't think are, are possible to flush out in the exact same way that like Orthodox Marxists and, uh, and, and the way that they describe the, the mode of production works. Like, I don't think you can labor theory of value every fucking ounce of labor considering the fact that value in and of itself is inherently subjective. And no matter what people do, you can try to make it as quantitative as you possibly can, but there's still qualitative features to value that you literally cannot fucking uh, subject to a price point. So therefore, I think that when you're building a business or some shit like that, it is virtually impossible to literally be like, you know, you made this uh, banner for a YouTube channel. Well, there you go. That's actually uh, going to be 85% uh, of your profits going forward, considering the fact that this is how much that banner will uh, contribute to your to your business and the and the profit that you're creating. That sort of stuff is very difficult to to put together. So there are certain issues that I have with Marxist orthodoxy, I guess, or that's not even technically Marxist orthodoxy, but there are certain issues that I have. But overall, I have a vision of change that I describe fairly frequently. It 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 coincides with uh, the overarching point of view of the DSA, which is social democratic reforms and exhausting state machinations until uh, you get to a point where slowly but surely you are changing the economy uh, by focusing on businesses, increasing labor unions and worker participation in the workplace from a transitional uh, market socialist state to a full-blown socialist state. Dengist arc? No, that's not no, that's not it. If you read anything, you'd know that the use value is subjective. A value in the Marxist sense isn't, and the LTV talks about the latter. No, I, I disagree. I think value in the Marxist... No, my criticism is literally that I think value in the Marxist sense is still subjective. There are subjective components to it. I know that it's supposed to... I literally just described it to you. I just described value in the Marxist sense being uh, still being beholden to inherently subjective uh, uh, points or having a qualitative aspect to it that you cannot put a price on. And you did not listen to anything I said and said, you're wrong, it's actually objective. Because you're a fucking moron and you literally don't look at Karl Marx as though he is some fucking theorist who lived 200 years ago, but God himself or Jesus Christ. It is incredibly fucking frustrating that Orthodox Marxists who, or, or people who fancy themselves as Orthodox Marxists sometimes are beholden to dogmas that I can only compare to religion. And I hope that fucking triggers some of you r slash atheist dipshits because that's exactly who those fucking orthodox Marxists are. I am of the mindset that uh, no matter how accurate the descriptive claims made in, uh, in, in Marxism, no matter how, how uh, accurate they may be, whether it be dialectical materialism or, or historical materialism, there are still some things that, you know, a guy from fucking 200 years ago uh, wasn't able to see correctly. And part of the reason why I rarely ever talk about this sort of thing is because it's not a productive conversation. We are not at a stage in the United States of America or even around the fucking world to be having such um, complicated and possibly fractionalist uh, points of view on, uh, on Marxist analysis. In the United States of America, People think sock dems are fucking radicals. If I can convert as many liberals as I can to fucking social democrats whose goals align 100% with mine in the short term, I'm going to do that. Which is why I don't really shit on fucking leftists all that much on this broadcast. Whether they're fucking tankies or social uh, democrats, okay, in that entire leftist spectrum. I like Norway. Let's do Norway tomorrow, okay? Let's do Norway today. And then we'll move on from there. I just don't think Norway is the fucking uh, end point. Especially because when there's Norways, there's going to be Zimbabwe's.
when there's no worries there has to be indonesia's and that's not good what do you mean by zimbabwe's and indonesia's what i mean is a social democratic capitalist state can only exist in the way that it currently does when the western world or dominant countries in that uh capitalist global economy exploit the developing nations of the third world for their natural resources and unlimited labor pool that they can consistently drive the uh, wage prices or labor prices down norway is great because it benefits greatly from its geopolitical position being in the european continent and uh and not getting colonized and fucking owned into oblivion if you are a social democrat you recognize certain values you recognize certain things that are built into the capitalist infrastructure unless you're like some fucking weirdo on the internet and you think social democracy means being a fucking neoliberal okay and i don't know how to describe that but if you're a social democrat you believe in significant checks on the market because the market is uh inherently unfree and it is leaving the market to its own devices creates a system that is unjust okay companies want to monopolize companies want to drive out the competition they want to lower their uh you know lower their wages as best as they can that's just what they do so social democrats recognize that and say because the nature of man is inherently selfish we need to do something about it and have a democratic government enforce controls put mechanisms in place to reel that back so if you can understand that concept within uh national politics you can understand that concept in international politics the dynamic between the retail worker and the manager or the business owner is the exact same nearly with with the dynamic between a third world country a third world nation or a developing nation versus a nation like the united states of america that benefits from the imperialism but everyone is wealthy in a social democracy that's not true what do you think every norwegian is wealthy no it just means that there's a base level of material equality that have been provided to every single citizen european social democracies prop up some of the worst third world damaging companies nestle shell bp etc even if we improve labor standards and regulations more of these companies uh these things will keep happening provided the current global inequality continues yes you can tell us why social democracy is impossible without imperialism is it because capitalism requires an underclass or is it something different yes because capitalism does require an underclass that is precisely it how can you support social democracies when even you admit they operate on imperialist conquest because i'm not fucking 12 years old and red lenin for the first fucking time okay or 14 not 12 and think that like there needs to be a revolution now like what revolution shut the fuck up and there are areas that i don't have answers to at least i'm honest okay i'm a fucking dumb himbo